My name is Anna Carlson and I play in the second violin section of the Illinois Philharmonic and I'm here today to introduce the violin to all of you. So the name violin actually comes from the Latin word vitula which translates to female cow oddly enough. So this is my violin and it is a member of the string family of instruments which are called that because we make the sound using these which are the strings. So originally strings on these instruments were made from something called catgut which was actually dried stretched sheep gut, which is kind of yucky. But these days, strings are made from synthetic material and metal. Uh, so the strings on the violin are E, A, D, and G. And if we need to make them higher or lower or adjust them at all, we can do that by turning these, which are called the pegs. Uh, the pegs are up here next to this, which is the scroll, which looks like a rolled up piece of paper. And this is the fingerboard, which is where I put my fingers when I play. So the strings are held up by this, which is called the bridge. This is the body of the violin, and these are called F holes, because if you look closely, they kind of look like an old-fashioned F. Um, and what they do, when you pluck or play the strings, then the sound is vibrating inside the instrument, and the F holes release the sound so everyone can hear it. So this is called the chin rest, and this I've added, and it's called a shoulder rest. And both of those help me securely hold the violin when I play. So I mentioned the violin is part of the string family of instruments, and people say that the string instruments sound the most similar to the human voice when they're played, so you'll have to listen for that. Uh, sound on the violin can be made two ways. One of them I've already shown you, and it's this. It's plucking the strings, which we call pizzicato. But the way that we usually make the sound on the violin is using this, which is called the bow. So this is the stick of the bow. This is the, the bow hair, and it's actually made of real horse hair. This is the frog, I don't know why we call it that, but that's, it's next to the frog where we hold the bow, and this is the tip. So when we play with the bow, we draw the, the hair across the strings and it grabs them and causes them to make a sound, but the horse hair is actually very slippery. So we have to put something on it to make it sticky so it can really grab the strings. So what we use for that is this, which is called rosin, and it's made of dried tree sap. So we rub that onto the, to the hair, and then when we play, it sounds like this. The violin is actually very versatile. It's used in all different styles of music in all different settings. So I want to give you a few examples to show you all the different ways that the violin can be used. So violin is perhaps the most well known for playing what's called classical music, which sounds very traditional and is mostly what the orchestra does. So here's an example of a classical piece by a very famous composer named Mozart. Here it is. means that the music is very expressive and has a lot of feeling in it. Now when we're playing in a more expressive style especially, we're going to use a lot of what we call vibrato, which is where we move our finger back and forth like this in order to make the pitch sound a little bit different than it would. So here's without vibrato and with it. So listen for that in this next piece, which is a tango, which is a kind of dance. style, which is less formal and is used a lot in country music. Here's an example of one of my favorite fiddle tunes called Devil's Dream. Notice how I speed up while I play. and video game music. And here's a little clip of some movie music that I think you'll recognize. Thank you everyone and I hope you all enjoyed learning about the violin.